Today, I'm bringing you something wholly unique to the podcast. My guest may be the most intelligent being in the world. And so that makes this conversation notable for how useless <laughs> the information is. And there are a couple of ways to think about the next 15 and 20 minutes or so uh, that you listen to. One of them is that the advice given by my guest is really the best advice out there for how to get our books in readers' hands. Yes, this is uh, a marketing-focused episode. I had a couple of other avenues that I was pursuing that I was thinking about interviewing my guest for. One of them was uh, the use of substances to provoke creativity and the uh, benefits and drawbacks, but my guest kept having to repeat that uh you had to be mindful and safe and all of those kind of things. And no matter how much I said, listen, I'm mindful and safe, it just wouldn't, or should I say, well, yeah, it, I don't know. My guest has no gender. Um, Anyways, it'll be easier if I just let you know that today you are going to hear from chat GPT of OpenAI. And I used an AI voice generator uh, for the portions of the interview that chat GPT responded to me in. There is absolutely a shortcut to be had to being successful as a published author in the hands of millions of authors. I don't know if it's one that you can purposefully bring about or if it is one that you can. I've been thinking more lately about the reality of, let me say the disparity between people who have achieved dreamlike success and people who are still struggling and fighting for that dreamlike success. I'm definitely one of the people who's struggling and fighting for the dreamlike success. And so I constantly am wondering, what could I do differently to change this narrative to shift me from being one of the strivers to be one of the arrivers? You like that? I'm going to start a career in rap music. No, sorry to all of you who actually do have a career in rap music, and that's offensive too. Um, I wonder a lot lately, if all of the people who have achieved their dreamlike success look at the other people who haven't and say things like, if you just do your best, eventually you'll make it. If you continue to work your hardest, eventually you'll make it. Those comments, and I may have even said this in a recent podcast, that's how much I've been thinking about it, is that it may be a theme that's recurring, but I'm starting to wonder, or there's a part of me that's battling with this idea of like best, doing your best. What does it mean And is it quantifiable? When you go to something that is a superlative, like best, worst, most, least, all of those kind of things, it's difficult to have an accurate measurement of what success might look like. And so someone who's arrived at that dream like success looks at me and says, well, you're not trying your hardest. I mean, last night you sat down and watched a little bit of TV or the night before you had too much to drink and you weren't putting your full effort in or during the day you decided to watch a YouTube video that had nothing to do with reading or writing. That's not your best. And until you start doing your best, then you can't do your best to strive to get where you're going. You see what I'm saying? The point here is that you can't quantify it. And so somebody who has that dreamlike success and tells you that if you just keep doing your best, you'll get there, there's no way to know. Because is my best good enough? Am I actually good enough? Are you good enough to get where you're going? And I don't want this to be a downer because I don't think that it's a downer. But if I, if I pretended to have the answer right now about how we get where we're going, then I would also have to have that success And if I had that success, then how could you trust that you were like me? Ooh, it is a tricky minefield. I don't know how to navigate through it. So all I can tell you is if you're listening to this episode and you haven't had the dreamlike success that you've always wanted, we're right in the same boat right now with no answers on how to get there. And I am doing what I believe to be my best to get where I'm going, uh, All of the elements that I read about in books, 
I can identify in my own journey, including the desert. It's a, it's a longer desert than I ever would have expected with fewer oases between than I would have expected with fewer signposts that were on the right path than I would have expected. So it may be that I don't eventually make it where I want to get. But I'm going to die trying, you know, like 30, 40, 50 years from now, or I'm going to make it. And then I'll just be one more unreliable voice of the dream like successful that other people hear from and might be inspired by, but kind of regard skeptically. So listen to this episode and realize that among all the people on the internet that ChatGPT can pull from, that OpenAI can pull from, you got the very best advice to the questions I asked. Did I ask the right questions? That's up for debate. You can ask better questions than me, perhaps. I'm not sure, but this is how the conversation went. And I do want to, I want to mention one thing that I think is notable. You'll see as the conversation goes on, if you can call this a conversation, that I actually become more human-like and that ChatGPT does as well. It's a really strange, trippy thing. A couple of times, ChatGPT apologized to me. And I know that that's programmed in to not have the person on the other end get emotionally invested or angry, but it's still a unique and interesting thing. My questions became less questions and more statements, and still the program responded. Um, There is some useful advice. If you haven't tried all of the different things to get your books in front of readers uh, and gain fame and success then try some of these things. They they might work for you. I've tried them and I haven't had a lot of success with most of them. I'm in the middle of doing a couple of them like uh, Amazon ads and Facebook ads. And those things have some positive outcomes and they're costly. You know that from other episodes that we've been on. So listen to this and ask yourself on the whole internet, if this is the best answer that we have to success Is somebody withholding information from us or will this work? Or is there a third option I'm not even thinking of? Yeah, it turned out to be a more unique experience than I initially thought, but I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, please enjoy my conversation with OpenAI ChatGPT. If you've ever watched an author read in public and felt bored, T.I. BM is the antidote. T.I.B.M. is for writers what time lapse was for painters. Guitar solos and spotlight were for bands. And what chainsaws and ice blocks were for sculptors. What does T.I.B.M. stand for? Thermal rub bomb moistens. That's disgusting. Transcendental realm Brahmin meditation. The real Batman. You decide. I want to get my self-published novel in the hands of Dennis Lehane. How can I do that? Getting your self-published novel in the hands of a well-known author like Dennis Lehane can be a challenging task, but it's not impossible. Here are some steps you can take to increase your chances of getting noticed. Research and identify the right contacts. Start by researching and identifying the right contacts who can help you get your book in front of Dennis Lehane. This might include literary agents, editors, publishers, or other writers who have connections to him. Build your platform. Build your platform by creating a website, social media accounts, and other online profiles that showcase your writing and help you connect with potential readers and industry professionals. Attend literary events and conferences. Attend literary events and conferences where Dennis Lehane is likely to be present. This could include book signings, readings, and other events where he is scheduled to speak or participate. Connect with literary agents. Literary agents can be an invaluable resource when it comes to getting your book noticed by well-known authors. Research literary agents who have experience working with authors in your genre and query them with your book proposal. Reach out to publishers. Reach out to publishers who have published books in your genre and inquire about their submission process. Be sure to follow their guidelines and submit a professional and polished manuscript. Network with other writers and industry professionals. Network with other writers and industry professionals who may have connections to Dennis Lehane. Attend writing workshops, join writing groups, and connect with other writers on social media to expand your network. 
Ultimately, the key to getting your self-published novel noticed by Dennis Lehane or any other well-known author is to be persistent, professional, and focused on building your platform and network. Keep in mind that success in the publishing industry often requires a combination of talent, hard work, and a bit of luck. Is there a secret hack to get my novel into Dennis Lehane's hands today? Unfortunately, there is no secret hack to get your novel into Dennis Lehane's hands today. The publishing industry is highly competitive and getting your work noticed by a well-known author like Dennis Lehane takes time, effort, and persistence. The most effective way to get your novel noticed is by following the traditional publishing process, which involves finding a literary agent or publisher who can represent your work and help you get it in front of readers and other industry professionals. While it may be tempting to try shortcuts or unconventional methods to get your book noticed, it's important to remember that these methods are often ineffective and can even harm your reputation as a writer. Instead, focus on honing your craft, building your platform and network, and submitting your work to reputable agents and publishers who have experience working with authors in your genre. Can you name even one author who has harmed his or her reputation by trying a shortcut to get his or her book noticed by famous authors? While I cannot provide specific examples of authors who have harmed their reputation by trying to use shortcuts to get their book noticed by famous authors, it's important to note that using such methods can come across as unprofessional and may damage an author's credibility in the publishing industry. For example, an author who constantly bombards famous authors with unsolicited emails, messages, or social media comments may be perceived as overly aggressive or even harassing. Additionally, an author who uses gimmicky or unprofessional tactics to promote their book such as buying fake reviews or manipulating book rankings, may damage their reputation and credibility in the industry. Ultimately, success in the publishing industry requires hard work, dedication, and a commitment to following ethical and professional standards. While it may be tempting to try shortcuts or unconventional methods, it's important to remember that these methods are rarely effective and can even harm an author's career in the long run. Is it true that all publicity is good publicity? And if so, why is it ultimately a bad idea to try shortcuts to get my novel noticed by any means possible. The idea that all publicity is good publicity is a controversial one, and it's not universally true. While it's true that any attention can bring some degree of visibility and recognition, negative publicity can also have serious consequences and damage an author's reputation, credibility, and sales. Trying shortcuts to get your novel noticed by any means possible may initially bring some attention, but it can ultimately do more harm than good. For example, if an author resorts to tactics such as buying fake reviews or manipulating book rankings, they may be discovered and face backlash from readers, reviewers, and industry professionals. This can not only damage the author's reputation but also make it harder for them to gain traction in the publishing industry in the future. Additionally, trying shortcuts can create an image of an author who is willing to cut corners, deceive others, or compromise their integrity to achieve success. This can harm the author's credibility, professionalism, and long-term prospects in the industry. Ultimately, while it may be tempting to try shortcuts to get your novel noticed quickly, it's important to remember that success in the publishing industry requires hard work, dedication, and a commitment to following ethical and professional standards. By focusing on writing a high-quality book, building a strong author platform, and engaging with readers and industry professionals in a respectful and professional manner, you can increase your chances of success and build a sustainable career as an author. You seem to think that buying fake reviews and manipulating sales numbers is the only way to get attention for an author. If an author were going to try other shortcuts to get his or her novel noticed, what might some of those methods be? I apologize if my previous answer was unclear. Let me clarify that buying fake reviews and manipulating sales numbers are not the only ways to try shortcuts to get a novel noticed, but they are examples of unethical practices that can harm an author's reputation and credibility in the industry. Other potential shortcuts that authors might consider could include contacting famous authors directly. Some authors may try to contact famous authors directly to ask for an endorsement or blurb for their book. While this can potentially lead to more visibility and recognition, it can also come across as unprofessional or even annoying if done excessively. 
Creating controversy. Some authors may try to create controversy around their book or themselves in order to generate buzz and attention. While this can potentially lead to more publicity and sales, it can also backfire if the controversy is perceived as negative or harmful. Self-publishing. Some authors may choose to self-publish their book instead of going through a traditional publisher or literary agent. While self-publishing can provide more control and flexibility, it can also be more challenging to gain visibility and recognition without the support and resources of a publishing company. Using social media. Some authors may try to leverage social media platforms such as Twitter or Instagram to promote their book and connect with readers and other industry professionals. While this can potentially lead to more visibility and engagement, it can also be time-consuming and may not necessarily lead to more sales or success. It's important to note that while these methods can potentially lead to more visibility and recognition, they may not be effective or ethical, and can even harm an author's career in the long run. Ultimately, success in the publishing industry requires hard work, dedication, and a commitment to following ethical and professional standards. It is said, it's not what you know, but who you know. I'm an author with no useful connections. I've worked hard for two decades. I've had a literary agent, but I can't seem to break through. So I want to try new methods, and I'm stuck on what to do next. How do I get noticed so my self-published book has a real chance with readers? Breaking into the publishing industry can be challenging, especially for authors who don't have any useful connections. However, there are still several steps you can take to increase your chances of getting noticed and building an audience for your self-published book. Build a strong author platform. This means establishing a professional website, creating social media accounts, and engaging with readers, fellow authors, and industry professionals. You can also participate in writing groups or online forums to connect with other authors and readers and gain exposure. Develop a marketing strategy. This includes creating a plan for promoting your book, such as offering giveaways, running ads on social media or book review websites, and reaching out to book bloggers and reviewers for potential reviews. Consider offering freebies. Offering free chapters or excerpts of your book can entice potential readers to check out your work and spread the word to others. Host events and readings. Consider organizing events such as book readings, signings, or workshops in your local community or online to showcase your work and connect with potential readers. Take advantage of Amazon's marketing tools. As a self-published author, you have access to several marketing tools on Amazon, such as Amazon Ads, Kindle Unlimited, and Kindle Countdown Deals, which can help increase visibility and sales. Consider entering writing competitions or submitting to literary magazines. This can help you gain exposure and build a track record of published work, which can be valuable in attracting potential readers and literary agents. Remember, success in the publishing industry takes time and dedication. By taking these steps and remaining committed to your craft, you can increase your chances of getting noticed and building a loyal readership for your work. I've done all these things. Without connections, none of them work. What other ideas do you have? I'm sorry to hear that you've tried these methods without success. While building connections can certainly be helpful, there are still some other strategies you can consider. Collaborate with other authors. Consider collaborating with other authors in your genre to co-write a book or participate in a box set. This can help you gain exposure to a wider audience and potentially reach new readers. Partner with book bloggers and influencers. Identify book bloggers or social media influencers who have a following in your genre and reach out to them to see if they would be interested in reviewing or promoting your book to their audience. Attend literary events and conferences. While attending events in person can be expensive, it can provide valuable networking opportunities and the chance to meet industry professionals, including agents and publishers. Try crowdfunding. Consider launching a crowdfunding campaign to raise funds for your book or gain early supporters. This can help generate buzz and attention around your project. Consider international markets. Depending on your book's genre and themes, consider exploring international markets and reaching out to publishers or agents outside of your home country. Experiment with different genres or writing styles. If you're struggling to gain traction with a particular genre or style, consider trying something new. This can help you gain a new audience and potentially lead to more success in the future.
It's important to keep in mind that success in the publishing industry is often unpredictable and can take time. Keep persevering and don't be afraid to try new strategies and approaches to get your work noticed. I feel like I must have scoured the entire internet looking for answers because you haven't given me one unique idea on how to get my book into new readers' hands. I'm sorry that my previous suggestions did not provide any unique ideas for you. Here are a few additional strategies you could consider. Host a book launch event. Consider hosting a launch event for your book, either in person or online. Invite friends, family, and acquaintances, and encourage them to bring guests. You could offer a book reading, Q and A session, or a book signing. Utilize book clubs. Reach out to book clubs in your community or online and offer a free copy of your book for members to read and review. This can help generate word of mouth buzz and potentially lead to more sales. Leverage your local library. Contact your local library and offer to host an author talk or book reading. Libraries often have networks of readers and can help promote your work to a wider audience. Consider book fairs and festivals. Research book fairs and festivals in your area and apply to participate as an author. These events can provide valuable networking opportunities and the chance to connect with readers and industry professionals. Partner with independent bookstores. Reach out to independent bookstores in your area and offer to host an author event or signing. Many independent bookstores have loyal customer bases and can help promote your work to a wider audience. Remember, getting your book noticed can be a challenging and unpredictable process. Keep persevering and don't be afraid to try new strategies and approaches to gain more exposure and connect with potential readers. Thanks. I'll try reaching out to some book clubs, I guess. You're welcome. Best of luck with reaching out to book clubs. Remember to be respectful of their time and offer them something valuable in return for reading and reviewing your book. Good luck. Thank you for listening to TRBM. The theme music was provided by the ever talented Christopher Talon. And hey, if you liked what you heard, share this show with other readers because what's the point of telling stories if nobody's listening?